Hey guys, my name is Seniak and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Where last episode, guys, we did quite a few little things. We got this nice little area set up down here. We got the uh, little library in, brand new laundry room, chapel, two new cleaning cupboards, and two rooms to add something additional in, which is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, recently as well, we got like the jeans factory and all that kind of set up, which is making us a ton of cash money moolah. We got like half a million in the bank right now. Now, today I want to try and expand the prison, get some more prisoners in. It's been a long time since we had some more in. So I kind of want to uh, buy these new areas here and just kind of expand this little corner section here. We have like a brand new cell block wing. And I ask you guys, do I go like... Super luxurious or really, really terrible cells. Now, we had this luxurious section over here. So it's only right we have, like, the worst part of the prison to be down here. Have some really terrible cells. Not great cells. It sounds good, right? Uh, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to take advantage of the small cells. I don't know, but I'd kind of get that researched anyway, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but ultimately, I need to buy some new land. So how much is this one going to cost me? 120,000 Right, let's buy that and we just wait for the game to like slowly break and rebuild itself back together So while it does I'm gonna take a nice sip of tea ah, Delicious tea, right, okay um, At some point today the game will update and it will realize that I just purchased some new land. There we go Ooh, Fancy okay, I'm gonna buy this one too. 120,000 so I'm just going to wait another like 20, 20 minutes uh, for it to update. And But anyway, when I bought that, I bought three expansions now around the edge of the prism. And it's quite a lot. Quite a lot of land we've got extra. So that will kind of keep us going for, for some time, basically. Boom! There we go. Look at this a beauty. Look at this beauty. You can see the original border for the prison you can see it there <laughs> we've kind of gone into the new area up there but it's it's huge it is absolutely huge the land we have got now to work with well it's going down over here then this guard is on his way over here everybody there's a lot of people are not happy um 44 prisoners are shackled to their cells well yeah stop committing crimes and then you wouldn't get shackled to your cells you damn fools that's pretty much how it goes uh but yeah um we're gonna do some planning then Hang on, before I do planning, let me go to quick build and look at the cells. So we want some, we, we kind of, well, mm, yeah, terrible cells. We want some terrible cells. So what do I go for? Basic, we, I mean, we could do like basic cells. Let's have a load of those basic cells. We could do that. Um, yeah, we could do that or we could probably go, probably go a little bit worse. I don't know how worse we could go. That's a basic cell. That one has a shower. I mean, at that point, if we do mean like these one by one cells, we then might have to, we'd have to then build a shower room. Pretty much. So what does this do? Uh, it allows you to fit in, remove the minimum, basically remove the minimum cell size. That's kind of what it does right there. So why don't we plan something then? Why don't we plan something? It's okay, so. <clears throat> right, we're gonna take it from here. So let's say, if I did a two by like one there and a toilet there, so it literally we're doing four by four gr like grids. That could work a four by four here like that. They're, they're, they're not very nice cells, are they? they? They really. I mean, then again, that's the whole point of this. Let's, let me double check that I can get them all in evenly, or how far I can possibly take this one. Ooh, I could get them all in evenly like that. Now, what I'll do is I'll make like a little thick corridor come down that way eventually. So this will be like the inlet. And then it all comes down to this part here. So if I did a four there, has that been another way to get in? I, I gotta try and expand on these ideas. So if we do there, there, there. And if I did some that went up here, all the way to here, but then we hang on. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. Right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try and figure this out. Do I want it to go like 
so low down like that or do I want to kind of create a little gap? Do you know what? We'll create a little gap here. So we do three there. And then we'll close it after three there. Like that. I'll show you my ideas in just a second. And then we could like... One, have the common room in there. So if I do another two there... So the common room can go here. And then we do another block of three there. Now I'm thinking, do I do a shower room at this point here? Just a small shower room there for these guys. And then we do like another shower room over this side there. I think that would be the, probably the best option. So there we go. So that would be a shower room. And we'll have it against the wall. So we can have like drains all there. This is going to be a horrible area to even be incarcerated in. Oh, man, I can already see how terrible this is going to be. Right, okay, so we'll keep this going down because there's no point me creating a walkthrough there. And keeping this going as well. So it bends round. Now, we'll have that there like that. So we'll have uh, the two entrances there. We'll have an entrance just here to kind of continue to go out. So at this point here, then, we'll have the shower. So let's continue this one along. So we'll do a one there, one there, one there. So how, how many cells? That takes up one. That takes up technically four cells. Oh. So that will be like that. That will be where the shower room would be for those guys. So there's, there's technically two shower rooms in this little area, which is kind of cool. I like that. Do you know, the more I think about it now, what if I just got rid of this and this one? And we just made it bigger by one more. It's a little bit more juicier, isn't it? I feel that's the best thing to do. Right, okay. So, how far could I take this now? I'm hoping we can. Uh, we've got the right kind of size and space in. Oh, no, 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 no. So we kind of fall short a little bit there, don't we? Yeah. Right, okay. So I'm trying to figure this out now. What would be the best way to go about doing this? So that's all good there. I'm kind of happy with how that is then going to kind of come across. Hmm. It's a tough decision to kind of come up with this stuff. Uh, but anyway, I do want the wall there so we can put some metal detectors in. And that can kind of go across. We can squeeze an extra cell in there. Right, good stuff. Uh, this one here. Now, do I do the same kind of thing here? We could squeeze extra cells in. But ultimately, am I just kind of setting this up for be the entrance? Because we could do it like that. I mean, we do like half an hour. We don't know what we're going to expand down to that point. But the option's always there. If we want to do it. But then again, no. I no. Oh, no, I can't because I need the, uh, the corridor. There we go. So that would be the corridor. And, you know, we can actually, the, the, the kind of awkward gap we do create, we can kind of turn that into the common room, couldn't we? So, let me figure this out. So, if I did, alright, let's say that is the, um, the corridor system there. And let's kind of see how far this takes. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. So, that's four, five, six. Alright, that can be a common room here. It's just easy enough to do it like that, isn't it? Alright, that can come down to there, because that's going to be the shower. Um, that's going to go literally across to there. Get all those in. Do I continue it? Hmm. Now nah, we'll keep it like that. We'll keep it like that, and then that can be the whole shower going across, and that's a little common room there. And then we have the little kind of... Oh, see, now, now it kind of makes you want to do this. 
Why can't I just make a sound decision when it comes to this stuff? I don't even know. Right, you know what? We're gonna go the, the whole hog. Right, that can be the entrance. There we go. And then we'll have the gaps there. There's so many cells, and this is literally the worst part of the prison. All right, we'll have an entrance there. It kind of creates the little crisscross. So there, there, there. And, uh, of course, we're going to have the gap here. <clears throat> but it's going to be literally the common room. Right, that is our brand new cell block area. It looks a little bit crazy. It took me a while. But we've now got it in. So let, let's build this bad boy. It's going to cost me a fortune to get it in. But it's going to be totally worth it. Right, we'll drop down utilities while we wait for, like, you know, while they're building all this stuff anyway. So we'll kind of go around the edges with the utilities. Right, cut that for the middle. Cut that there. Uh, piping work. Right, go get this in. Around the edges too. It's a lot of piping. But this is ultimately what's going to hook up all the sewage systems to like the showers and the toilets and whatnot. It's going to be great, mate. It's going to be great. Right, a lot of stuff is now happening. So let's fast forward then. Let's get this all done. There's a lot of people in holding cells as well because the current, the only cells available at the moment, you know, is a few luxury ones. Let's just get that Polaroid there. Uh, these guys are not a good enough rating to be in one of those luxury cells. So, get wrecked, mate. Okay, so where's our workers now work, uh, walking down? Uh, you know what we haven't checked in a while? Our informants. How are they doing? So, we've got an informant over here. What's that noise? Oh my good god. 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 We legit have a fire. In the prison. What in the world happened there? I have no freaking idea right now. This is... Well, this is interesting. I thought I could hear a noise. Right, fire department. Get both of them in. Right, I don't care what happens. Just get your booties over here. This is literally going to destroy the prison. Oh my good god, where did this fire come from? Right, can you put it all out, please? I can't believe that. Right, it's kind of spreading a little bit. Can you kind of get over here, guys? Oh my good god. Where did that fire come from? That is scary. That is literally scary. Hold on. No, who died? A tailor died. Plantation worker died. Holy moly, mother of God. That is not good. All right, Fire Brigade, you did such a good job. You can go home. How did that fire even happen? I have no freaking idea. And the workers are still going in to pick the cotton. Oh my good god, I can't believe that just happened. Hopefully we can fix this. Did anybody else die that I, I kind of really need? No, we seem to be okay. I mean, we lost a few people. Wow. I can't believe we just had a fire. Right, so let's, I'm going to let them, before I even attempt to rebuild any of this stuff, I'm going to let these guys kind of like just clean everything up and just get all the like the trash and stuff into the places it needs to be. I cannot believe that just happened. That's crazy, man. Oh my good God. That's kind of scary, isn't it? Because if I never noticed that, how... 
I mean, the fire was bad anyway, but if I never noticed it, how far would that have spread it? That would have went for some distance, wouldn't it? If I spent any longer, I'm planning all that stuff. The, 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 if I, oh, oh my good God. Could you imagine if I had the game in fast forward mode, if I was doing all that planning with the uh, the new cell block? I wouldn't have noticed this because of how far away it is. That's scary, man. Very scary. Right, the workers are doing their job. Anyway. They're just clearing up all the mess. It's going to take some time. Just like it's going to take some time for this to get built. So it's probably worth getting some extra workmen. Alright, we're going to bring up to 60 workmen. Just so we can get stuff fully done in the prison. Winter's here as well. Meaning it's going to be a super duper cold. Right, okay, so let's let's look at getting the walls back into place. I'm still shocked. We got a gap there, so prisoners could escape. Wow, man, that is crazy. That is crazy, man. I can't get over that. Alright, let's try and get this stuff in anyway. The wooden floors back down. Get the compost back in. We should be semi back up and running, minus a few tables. It's dangerous, mate. Fires are dangerous! Oh my good god. Gangs. Where are they going? Where are they going to overtake? Is it this yard? What gang is that? It's the blue gang! Looking to make a move. Will they will they ruin it and fight? The green gang's making moves. Oh, the green gang could distract the prison from the blue gang taking over. Unless they start to fight as well. Oh, blue gang got the yard. Is the green gang going to get the common room? They're almost even with members as well. It's going to be a right tussle. But ultimately, the blue gang dominates the prison. Yeah, they've got some territory, guys. They have some territory. No way. It's going down. Right, how are we doing? Slowly rebuilding. Let me get that little bit of wall in there, because that's not looking great, ultimately. Um... Oh, the, all the rooms are gone all funny as well. I forgot it kind of messes up your, your room zoning. Right, where is the classroom? There. There we go. Uh, we need the cotton plantation. There we go. All becomes one room. Yeah, there we go. All good. That wall's now in. We're pretty much back to where we was, minus two tables. We'll get them in a little bit later. No, no, we didn't have those two tables in, no, because I noticed there's a gap there as well. So the room's back to where it was. Oh, my, this bit here. We need a nice little concrete tile. Right, now we should be, all be up and running. Right, have they built this down here yet? No. What's taking them so long? What is literally taking these guys so long? Well, I think I'll do. We'll get the jail door in there. We'll get the jail door in there. And we'll get the jail door in there. Where we need to... Because they're, they're now going to walk all the way around. They can just, like, skim through the prison. <clears throat> so I hope this makes it a little bit easier for these guys to... Uh, get this all up and running and built. All oh, those riots for days. Ooh, okay, we built one part of it. Nice. And that's just the start. 
I think they've, uh, made, uh, I get why it's taken so long, because they've kind of mainly focused on the utility side before they've built all the foundations. Makes complete sense. Right, have we done that small salvage yet? No, 67% of the way. I should have really made the salves, the planning go up to here. The more I look at this, I, could, I should have made this go up to there and have the showers either side. There we go. I'm so, so I'm so foolish. So I get why this took so long now because because we are making them do utilities at the same time. I'm ah, sometimes I I amaze myself at how stupid I really am, <laughs> guys. God damn it, steady yak. Right. You done yet? So what I'll do anyway is we're ultimately going to get one cell. No, we'll create two cells. And then we can clone these to produce all the other cells. That's how it's going to get that. Now, I think we should do red carpet in these cells. That would be quite nice. Uh, objects going to get the jail doors on them. They're gonna need beds, so we drop a bed there. Drop a bed there. Toilets, one there, one there. And then that is the small cell. As terrible as it's going to look. Genius. Right, we might as well get all the plumbing in. I might as well run this all the way across because we're literally going to have showers in some of those areas. Right, that's all in. We're going to lock this open. <laughs> We've got all done. Vuldozi's foundations. There we go. Uh, we have to lock these open as well. Always open. Right, now, they should be good to go. Once I've got all these fully built in, up and running, we can then clone them, get them placed down everywhere. I won't zone the room just yet because I don't want anybody to move in. So we need to hook this up to the water supply. So again, we're giving them a lot of stuff they need to do. But it's going to be worth it. Right, here comes the bed and the toilet end. So we can now go to... Uh, no, quick. There we go. Clone. There we go. Costing us 500 a cell. Cheap. Cheap and cheerful are ultimately going to raise our capacity super duper high when we've got all this new cell block in. Bam, son. That's a lot. Right, we're going to get a few more in because then we can clone two or three at once then. Look at them. So speedy when they get all this done. Right, they've almost done as well all of the piping work so they can focus on all the cells. <clears throat> let me gotta get these ones that need to go sideways too. So let me kind of get these set up too. There we go. Red flooring. Objects. Large jail doors. Beds. Poop holes. And that's them cells done. Right. Okay, so they've pretty much got quite a few of these now over, uh, kind of done. So how many of these can I zone at once? Okay, let's we just do three at a time. So three there, 
free there. Free there. Free there. Same for this side. Free there. Free there. There. And there. And then everything else now is the other direction. This is going to be a hellhole, <laughs> this area. They ain't going to like it. They ain't going to like it. We've researched the small cells as well, so we can actually use these to be the small cells, which is crazy. Uh, these are now being built. So again, quick build, clone. Right, we'll just get free in either side. So we can then clone the free. It's going pretty well, guys. It's going pretty well. There's no more fires, is there? No. I think it burnt the electricity grid, too. Yeah. Let's get the electricity back in. That fire was deadly, man. I don't care. That was bad. It was a bad fire. A big bad fire. Right, workers are getting somewhere now. We can just get these cells. They're the important ones out. Them free there, because then we can like destroy everything else. Just taking their sweet, sweet time, as you can see. I like the red carpet we're getting into, because it kind of like you know we got grey there, yellow there, red there. Just shows you like. Red means terrible. <laughs> it's danger warnings for the cell block. Why well, they even done this yet? Come on, guys. You're slacking in this one area. Well, what's going on over here? Foundations. Can I get some foundations here, please? Thank you. Right, we're done yet? We need to get the deployment routes. It would help if we had like a deployment route in here. Hold on. Let me set up a deployment route. So, regular guard routes right now. We're just going to do like some standard routes. Just so we've got guards walking around so they can open up doors and stuff. Anyway, a couple of guards in there now. So they'll be able to help out the workers as they continue to build stuff. So let's zone all this. Or clone all this, should I say. Not zone it. Noise. Okay, where am I now missing? Oh, there's a block of two. And then blocks are free. And then we do the final block of two. Bam! There we go. So now we can focus on the other stuff, the other important things. Like, we'll do the shower room here. So rooms then, we're gonna have the shower room here. We'll have a shower room just there. We'll have a shower room just here. And what we're going to do to make it kind of not have the water flow all the way out, we'll just place a dr like the drainage system going down like that. Then It's not going to be a nice place to be in, this cell block. I'm telling you that right now. So shower heads. There we go. Let's rotate them bad boys. Right, apparently you ain't got no water. There we go. Okay. And then, of course, rooms. We're going to have the common rooms. Where's the common room at? Where is the common room? There we go. So we'll have one there. And we have one here. So objects for the common room. We'll drop some benches in. There we 
we go. We'll have a beautiful large TV either side. Should we drop in a pool table? Now I want radios. Nice little common room there. We do something a little bit different over this one then. So make them both equally valuable. We'll have pool tables in this one. And obviously we got to put in phone booths to make them want to take this. There we go. So, oh, these don't have water. Right, and then this Starbucks, <laughs> we've actually got this together pretty pretty well. It's actually pretty good. We just need to put in some uh, of the tiles in now. The concrete tiles. There we go. Where am I missing? Oh, this side up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring it all the way up. All the way across. Where haven't I got them in now? We'll just get the white tiles in now for the shower rooms. And I think, you know what? We're gonna do the um, where is it? Where's the where's the nice wood flooring? Where's that? Why can't I now see it? A dark wood. Okay, we're gonna do dark wood flooring for the two common rooms. That would be a nice little addition. And also, just kind of slightly separates each of them. And that's pretty much all set up. One last thing I will do is an armed guard patrol on route as well of this area. But for that, we need more armed guards. So where's the arm? Armory's just here. So we'll get some guard lockers in. There we go. There's quite a few guard lockers we just got in. So let me just wait for them to place those in. Right, okay, they're grabbing the lockers now. We can hire then a few extra armed guards. Right, here they go. So we can have possibly have 12 armed guards. Right, I'll get the maximum 12 that we can have. So if any of them go on break, there's always one to take over. So that puts one down in this area. This is now the new cell block area. It looks really good, doesn't it? Uh, one last thing I will do is just get the lights in the dark places. Just to kind of brighten this place up. Okay, happy with that. And then rooms. Cell block time. It's not going to be nice. I'm going to quickly pause it so we can get all these in. And we can kind of see how many cells we then have. The worst part to be in the prison. If you come to this prison, you better hope they don't put you in these cell blocks. Because it's not going to be nice. It's going to be full of the worst of the worst. The lowest of the low. And just generally, you're not going to have a nice time. You are not going to have a nice time. Right, you just got to wait now for these cells to update. As you can see, they're updating. We've got them all in. We've now got room for 262 prisoners. Is that not ridiculous? Or is that not ridiculous? We should now see the, the guys in the holding cell now be moved to these cells. But it means we can now up our intake, fill our capacity. We're about to have... A hundred minimum security prisoners come in. I'm only going to accept minimum security for now. Uh, and so we've got the, the, you know, the capacity and the needs to be able to hold, like, handle the higher ones. I mean, we could do, but it's, it's gonna, we, prison take a beating at the moment. It'll take a beating. 
But eventually those med- uh, those minimum will eventually go up the ranks as they do. But a hundred prisoners coming in in the morning. Right, we're going to wait around and watch that happen. Because that's going to be interesting. But this is quite a nice little cell block area. Very, very impressed. Now just to make sure everything is being handled correctly. Um, logistics, food distribution. Yep, yeah, that's coming directly from this canteen. This is pretty much what we want it to do. Laundry distribution is coming from this one. Good stuff. Room quality. The room quality is a zero. So there's zero. These are grade seven. And our original ones are grade two. So they're, they're even worse than our original ones. Even the dormitories are grade one. What does that show you about these? What does that show you about these cells? Grade zero. You're just not going to want to be in one of those. You're just really not going to want to be in one of those. Absolutely shocking, mate. Shocking. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're literally now just going to wait it out until the morning. Then we've uh, got 100 prisoners arriving. It's going to be quite a few. Look, look, they're ready for them. They've got so many uh, prison uniforms ready for all these prisoners coming in in the morning. Uh, we've got 20, uh, 61 prisoners up for parole. So that'll give their, their little kind of a uh, chance to get out of here. Uh, let's look at deployment then. So guard patrols. Now let's look at armed guard patrols. So we've got one there, one there, and there. We don't have one up here. So we throw one up there. We don't have one in the yard. We don't have any patrols in this yard whatsoever. So kind of let's get that set up. We'll do like a... Uh, We do like a little Chrissy Cross. We're borderline playing noughts and crosses right now. We'll do a little crisscross like that so it kind of covers all angles. Put three guards there and an arm guard. We don't have any guard patrols in here. So we get two in there. Uh, we don't have any, any guard patrols here. So we put one there because it kind of does the parole room and the security room. Uh, there's no guard patrols down here. So we'll, we'll set one up there. Just at least you're trying to cover all angles of the prison. Alright, nothing up here too. So we'll just have one there. And we'll have one there. I mean, oh, we'll have one, you know what, we'll have one guard patrol going around the offices. That's all good. All good, mate. Good, good, good. Okay, right. So, armed, we've got the armed guards where we need them to be. we got some of them that can just kind of, like, generally just float around. Uh, you know, when one of them gets tired, the other ones that are available can just quickly step in. It's all good. Right, two more hours to go. Two more hours to go. And then we have a hundred prisoners arrive in the prison. It's mad, isn't it? It's absolutely madness. So what's the heat distribution like anyway? Where is it? Logistics, temperature. I know we I know we we're literally gonna have nothing in this area. So it's probably worth actually getting one in. So water boiler, I'm gonna place it just in the corner of the laundry room. It won't reach over, ultimately. It'll be, and then again, I could place one in the cleaning cupboard, couldn't I? So if I did that... We could have one hooked up to the showers. And it won't really reach over to that one. They might favour these two showers over that one because of the, the warmness. Um... Right, radiator. Drop one there. One there. And one there. I'm interested to find out how that would affect things. Right, we've just had... The prisoners... Arrive at the prison. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. This needs water too and power. I, I forget about that. All right, so we just had them arrive then. Hey, look, oh my goodness me. There is, there is a lot now here. Also, that doesn't fill our capacity because another 38 are coming like the next day. <laughs> I wonder how many of them are going to be gang members, if any. Ooh, okay. So we've had a little increase in the green and blue gang straight away. They're fighting it out over here too. Do we still have the gang leaders? Yeah, we still got the two gang leaders over here. They're like together in the same common room, which is hilarious. More um, prison buses are coming. There's the green gang leader there. What's he doing? Oh, is he just recruited someone? He's literally just recruited someone. No way. That's that's kind of cool. That was then we just seen that happen. He just recruited someone, guys. Right. So our, our workforce is being spread very thin right now. So we get a few more guards in. Just to handle the workload that's now coming in with all these new prisoners. Right, oh, intelligence, gangs. Alright, oh, hang on, the green, the green dude's coming back again. Is he recruiting somebody else? He just recruited somebody else. Wow, the tactics the green gang have got right now is amazing. That is amazing. We've just literally watched him recruit two gang members. That's crazy, man. Is, is he coming back again? Where's he going this time? He just recruited somebody in solitary. Oh my goodness me. The green gang leader? He's on a mad one right now. Where's he now going? I'm following this dude. He's up to he's up to something. He's just reading books now. No way. No freaking way. Right, anyway. Um, right, we should have some... The temperature should be different now in this room. So yeah, it's semi-warm in there. It's not... I'm going to say, it's not like the best kind of heating system I've done, but it works. The whole place is nice and warm and toasty. They're going to love it. Uh, okay, right. So that cell block is now pretty much all set up. We got a lot of prisoners. <laughs> We've got a lot of prisoners right now. 258 prisoners we currently have. Is that not madness or what? I've got to hook up this little one to the water supply. It's a lot of prisoners, which means we'll then have a lot of workers in the prison because they were able to fill up all the jobs. It's currently work slash free time for some prisoners. So prison labor, look at all now the orange taken up. Obviously, it's not work time for everybody, but predominantly most people. So everyone's going to now have a job. A lot of them need to obviously, of course, pass, you know, um, programs to be able to work in certain areas. But we just had like a hundred prisoner boost. So that's going to help us out greatly. I can't believe we just watched the green prison leader just recruit a bunch of people. They're up to 36 members. They've got the, one of the new common rooms. They've lost that one. A lot of them are in solitary. Madness. Absolute madness. Let's check out the needs then. Needs aren't too shabby. Staff needs. See, that's the thing now. Now we've got more prisoners. Like, the numbers are going up. So these are going to look dramatically a lot worse. Like, like how high food looks. And you realise, yeah, but that's because there's like 200 prisoners. And they're all being fed at different times. But damn, son. It's all coming together. Guys, this is where I think we'll end it for today. Can't believe how much stuff we've got done. How much stuff we've now got in. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time. I'll see you all soon. So good.